The Data Cloud Diaries, SQL Calculated Insight Development. Welcome to another chapter of the Data Cloud Diaries, and we're diving deeper into calculated insights. So I've been using my bulk data load to, lar to load large amounts of flight traffic information when planes are taking off and landing. Right now, I'm just focusing on my local airport, Phoenix. As we go on, we'll bring in even more data. But I've been doing some um, fun calculated insights. I'm going to show you the ones I've built, and we're going to build a new one on the existing data. So just to give a summary, I have an airport traffic ingestion API. And then from here, I have a data stream that is the airport traffic. And you'll see at this point, I have over 136,000 um, or, you know, these are 136,000 records representing either arrivals or departures. Currently, that's just in and out of Phoenix, but I'm going to be expanding it to additional airlines. And this is data streams going to the Aero Airport Traffic um, Data Lake object, going to the Aero Airport Traffic Data Model object. So here we are in the data model object with a representation of the data. So we have this data mapped through. And we can easily take a look at the data by going to the Steve Tech Arc. I can go to my calculated in. I mean, I can go, let's take a look at it as a data model object. And we go to the Aero Airport Traffic. And we can be using Data Explorer to query that data. We're now up to 100,000 rows. And so we can now see different aircrafts. We can sort. And let's just see different models of airports of aircraft, we can see the registration codes, the airline codes, the arrival airports, the arrival times. So we've got really good detailed information about planes taking off and landing. And right now we got a good amount of data. What I've got is a, my, a, my C Sharp program, that is the bulk data load, which has been tuned. And it generates these CSVs. Right now, the last CSV stopped at 924. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in ma ma Aero Main, my little kickoff project. We're going to go start at 925, and we're going to tell it to go for 30 days. So this is going to be the start month, the start day, and the number of days ahead. I'm just sending 30 days at a time for a single airport, which is Phoenix. So I'm going to run this, start debugging, and now what you're going to see is it's going to kick off the debugging and now you're watching the calls go by each one is a day of da uh, or, or 12 hours worth of data out of the data and so now we can actually take a look and see as it's building new csvs and we'll just grab one of them and i'll show you that this is where we have the departure the traffic date the airlines and all of this data, both when arrivals and departures. So this has departures and arrivals in 12 hour increments. And you can see it's marching through. So this is working beautifully, the bulk data load. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Postman and we're gonna monitor the job. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna then authenticate. So I've done my initial authentication against Salesforce. I'm going to do a second authentication to exchange for the direct token. And now what I'm going to do is put this token in my headers. That's actually, so this is getting my jobs. So I paste this in to my bearer token. And now what I can do is I can see the import jobs. And right now, we get a list of the import jobs and you'll see the one I just kicked off is in progress. You'll see previous job completes. So right now we are loading more data, but we already had 130,000 rows of data. So this is completed with 30 more days and the data is in there. Now we're going to go to a calculated insight and here is a calculated insight I put together. And I'm building all my calculated insights using SQL. I like the control I get out of the SQL. I'm going to show you this one, and then we're going to build another one pulling a different set of data. 
So in this one, I am pulling the traffic type, arrival and departure, the airport that's involved, and we're filtering this to only take departure. So we're gonna be looking at airports that are departing from departing from the departing air, departing planes. And we're gonna be counting with a nice little group. And then we're gonna get back the information. So this is a nice calculated insight that I built by hand. And we can take a look at these by going into Data Explorer. And you can pick in Data Explorer, choose your calculated insights now. And we're gonna do, this is the one I showed you. And we're gonna see that we can now see we get the departure airports. We focused only on departures, and therefore this was all out of Phoenix. I can see the flight numbers, and I can actually see the count. So this tells me in this set of data that I've had 55 American Airline Flight 635 departures out of Phoenix and a handful of others, 21 Americans, 54 Americans. So we can start to see the frequency of which flights are taking off, are, are departing most frequently. So this is a nice frequency count, and we can take a look at the most frequent counts. So we have counts of 65 for GB and down to these different airlines. So this is, these are really neat insights into the arrival and departure information. So we can go back into the insight and take a look at that. Now, another thing we can do is we can go back to Postman and we can actually run these ad hoc in Postman. Now here is a second calculated insight where I broke the data up by month. And we'll be taking a look at this one. So what I did was you can build it in Postman. And what we're gonna do is you need to watch the space as the way it's structured, but we're gonna be selecting an aggregate. So here is the month. And let's go through some key rules of, break, of building a calculated insight. Rule number one, you need to do an as. So therefore you need to name every one of your columns and you need to have it have an underscore underscore C. That's rule number one. Two, you need to have any aggregates, any calculations must all that, that are gonna be used must all be numeric. And that's why this is a valid one month. Three, you must have at least one measure and one dimension. And so what we're gonna be looking at is here is the month, which is the departure scheduled month. We are gonna also be pulling the traffic type. So we know departures versus arrivals, and you'll see I do a rename with the as. We're gonna bring in the departure ICAO to know the departure airport, another comma. And then we're going to create, take the number, which is the flight number, and then here is a key one, which is the count as the count, and we're gonna name it the count. So it's count. We're gonna be pulling from that table. We're gonna go where traffic type equals departure. We're gonna be grouping it by the different dimensions. So we're grouping it by the traffic type, departure ICAO. We're grouping it by the flight number, and we're gonna group it by the month. So let's take this query and we're pasting it in here. And now we can hit send and we can actually see the data. So in the month of the eighth month, there was a departure from this airport to this. So that was the depart and this was the flight number. So there were 14 departures out of Phoenix for this flight. There were 14 departures. So here is the month eight and this is this flight. And now we can see another nine, which is this flight. We can start to see the month, the departure, the flight, and the count. And this is a, another calculated insight. So if we take a look right here, this is the calculated insight. Now what we're gonna do is I can go to my data explorer and go take a look at that other calculated insight. So this is by month. And you'll see there is my count. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a new one. So we're seeing the calculated insights and we're gonna build one from scratch. So let's go to, this is how I found that I work the best, is what I'm gonna do is I use their design element, but then 
I build, I test it first. So we're going to go to Calculated Insights. We're going to hit New. And we're going to pick my Steve namespace. And we're going to go Create with SQL. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build it. So what we're going to do is looking at the data, we're going to take all departures and we're going to see where they're going. So we're going to count on the arrival airports, the arrival airport ICAO. So we're going to just do a straight count of where are these flights going. And we're going to group them. We're going to count these and we're going to figure that out. So let's take a look, seeing where the planes are going. So I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to go select. We're going to go and grab the fields from where group by. And we're going to build this up. So we're going to do the from and we're going to let this insert the column. And then what we're going to want is we're going to have the arrival airport ICAL. We're going to put it as a column. And then what we're going to do is we're going to filter by traffic type of a departure. So we're going to go take traffic type, excuse me, traffic type. So we're going to say where the traffic type is equals a departure. And what we're going to do is we're going to then create a, now let's go follow our rules. So this field yeah, needs to go as an as, and we're going to give it the arrival airport. We're going to then do a count. And we could also go in here and go to our functions, aggregation, count, place this here and go insert. What we're going to do is we're going to count star and we're going to name it as count. And so we're going to say, where are they going? How many of them are going there? And we're just going to do a straight count across all time. So this one, we're going to now need to group and you need to group by the original column name. So we're going to group by the arrival airport. We're going to check the syntax and the syntax is valid. Now, before we go any further, I want to actually see what the data looks like. So I'm going to go into my postman query. I'm going to paste it. We just need to get rid of some of the spaces and carriage returns. And let's just make sure we get it clean without spaces and carriage returns. And now what we're going to do is we're going to test this and see if it looks like what we want it to. So we're already getting a valid query. So we're seeing that there are 20 are going to KMSO, KLGB. We're starting to see where the flights are going. So this is a nice one where we're seeing flights and where they're going to. Now we could add the month on. And what we can do is let's add the month as a factor so we can group it by month. So we need another dimension here. And we're going to go month and we'll need the column. And let's do departure time. There's not always a arrive time. So we're going to do a departure or we could take the runway time. Let's take the schedule time UTC. And what we need to do is give it an as. We're going to grab this one. Departure. And instead of time UTC, we're going to go departure scheduled month. So we're following the rules. And now we need to take this one and add it as a group. Okay. So we're going to check the syntax. And it's valid. And what I'm going to do is grab this. Put it back into Postman. Get rid of the spaces. And run it. And you're going to see now, we now know for July, there were 138 different 
arrivals. So as we can see, we have created the query that works. We come back, we've checked syntax, we're gonna give it a name, and we're gonna go um, departures to airport month. I find that we have a shorter name, so you're gonna need to abbreviate. This would be goes departures to a target airport by month. So now what we've done is we're gonna activate it. We're not gonna schedule it. We're gonna enable it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna publish it now. Okay, so right now we're gonna, let's see if we can publish it now. We saved and then we published too quick. So now what's happening is this is flagged as pending and it's triggered to run. So we're gonna give it a moment to run and this is a new calculated insight we just developed. While we wait, I'm back over to Postman. I'm checking the job and our job is complete. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back while we wait for that calculated insight. We're gonna go over here to our data stream and you'll see that instead of having 130,000, we're now up to 175,000 records. So we can, I'm able to load large amounts of data through the bulk data load, and then while we're loading the calculated insight. Let's do a refresh. And now you see it's been changed to processing. And let's give it a moment to finish. So now we can see that it's success. The departure to airport month, we can go to Data Explorer, pick the Steve Tech Arc, pick the calculated insight. Here was our insight. And now it's working beautifully. And we could see these are all the ar ar uh, airports. And this is, we're gonna sort by the count. So what we're seeing is there's a lot of blanks, but we, we maybe we didn't do a good filter. But the ones we see a lot of are Los Angeles, Denver. So we're seeing multiple in different months. So Denver in um, August, Los Angeles, in, in the next month, August, September. So we're able to see the breakdown of target airports of, of flights that are leaving for Phoenix and where they're going to. So this is very helpful. So I'm showing you how you can start with your, once you have your data in your data, data cloud, you can start with the calculated insight builder. I would also be looking at the structure and some samples of your data. I did that by looking at the CSVs. And then I use Postman in order to test it, get it just right, bring it back into the calculated insight, which I use to validate and then submit. So this little cycle, Postman, calculated insight, looking at the data files, and I was able to make one pretty quickly. So this way you can start building some really neat discoveries and digging deep into your data. So have fun, and I hope this is helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining, seeing more insights, and join me, www.stevetechark.com, and the YouTube channel, Steve Tech Arc, and have a great day.